Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Wish granted Trump just said the one thing about Puerto Rico nobody else would say. The president has never had any issue when it comes to speaking his mind. Sure, it may make a lot of the Washington elites angry, but it's the reason America elected him in the first place. Now fast forward to Puerto Rico. It's a U.S. territory that was devastated by two massive hurricanes in a row. The media has been attacking Trump constantly over his response. They lie with claims like he won't help them because they aren't white or because they aren't Republican or a number of other crazy notions. There is just one problem with their story. It's all a big lie. Not only that, now the president himself is fighting back. He isn't wrong to say what he did. The president has been working with FEMA and Puerto Rican officials on the disaster relief since before the storms hit. Many of Puerto Rico's leaders, including their Democrat governor, have all praised the fantastic relief efforts on the island. The recovery is not as simple as a mainland disaster like Texas or Louisiana. They had to remove trees and boulders from destroyed roads, then fix those roads, just to begin moving supplies into different communities. On an island with ports that were essentially destroyed, that's not a remotely simple task. Trump wants his word to get out because, frankly, he wants the people to hear his side of the story of our country. The president just told Democrats the one thing he needs before he signs Dreamer Act. The president made his demand before he will even consider signing a Dreamer Act loud and clear today. Not a bunch of demands, a single one and it's pretty simple. President Trump is now demanding border wall funding in return for the signing of a new Dreamer deal. That's right. The Trump administration's new immigration principles and policies is more than just a deal on the wall, though. It is also more border security, more resources for deportation, and a merit-based system that limits chain migration to spouses and children. The White House also made it very clear that a proper border wall was not negotiable considering their long proven success rates. Successive border walls are undeniable from the perspective of their operators, U.S. Customs and Border Protection Acting Deputy Commissioner Ronald Vidiello said Sunday. Of course, whether or not any of this comes true is not up to the president. Now the responsibilities fall on Congress to find a way to include these in the new Dreamer bill. Trump's job is to guide them and veto when necessary. If this is a deal you think Republicans should move on, then let them know it. We are the people and we have a voice. Ivana Trump just gave the president the highest praise ever. Most of us remember when Donald Trump was married to Ivana Trump. She was his first wife, and his mother to his three oldest children, Donald Jr., Eric, and Ivanka. She gave an interview, which aired Sunday, and she was quite outspoken. The media is trying to twist her words, so I want to share her praises about the president. She said that she raised the children, and that he didn't really get involved much in the day-to-day, -day, until they were old enough to talk business. But she also said that he was a very good father. And she said, my instincts tell me Donald was smart and funny and an all-American good guy. She still feels that way about H. She also said she recommended tweeting to him and said, well, it's a tweeting president, and, T has is his new way, how to put the message across. And he's right. When asked about whether enough people support him, she said, he has the people behind him. The MSM has already started twisting her words, to try, as always, to make our president look bad. But if you watch the interview, you will see that she still has the highest respect for her first husband, now the POTUS. Please get this shared to all your family and friends, so they know the truth. And comment thanks, Ivana. H. T. The Hill and CBS News
top anthem Kneeler just sank to new low, said the unspeakable of Mike Pence on live TV. Vice President Mike Pence showed up to Lucas Oil Field in Indianapolis yesterday to watch his hometown Colt stake on the San Francisco 49ers. Multiple 49ers players decided to kneel for the national anthem. Pence wasn't pleased. The man one heartbeat away from the presidency decided to leave the game after the disrespectful protest, tweeting later that he won't support that sort of nonsense in any fashion. After the game, safety Eric Reed, one of the first NFL players to kneel along with Colin Kaepernick last season, told the press that Pence's actions were systemic oppression. What? Did he seriously just say that? Reed, my honest reaction. Does anybody know the last time he's been to a football game? With that being said, he tweeted out a three-year-old photo of him at a Colts game so with the information I have the last time he was at a Colts game was three years ago. So this looks like a PR stunt to me. He knew our team has had the most players protest. He knew that we were probably going to do it again. This is what systemic oppression looks like. A man with power comes to the game tweets a couple of things out and leaves the game with an attempt to thwart our efforts. Based on the information I have, that's the assumption I've made. Reed clearly doesn't understand that kneeling for the national anthem does absolutely nothing but tick off those of us in this country who love America. Neither Reed, Kaepernick nor any athlete across any sport who has knelt during the Star Spangled Banner has accomplished a dang thing. These phonies just look silly especially considering most of them don't even know why they're kneeling other than to spite President Trump. If this childish statement by a spoiled NFL millionaire, who doesn't know what he's talking about, makes you furious, comment yes. Let VP Mike Pence know you stand with him and America and always will. HT, Pro Football Talk Killshot Donald Jr. just decimated Saturday Night Live in the funniest way ever. The Hollywood elites have been in full panic mode ever since their sexual predator boss Harvey Weinstein was outed for decades of abuse. Instead of standing tall to a serial sexual assaulter, they all ran and hid just like the cowards they are. Even SNL, who claims to be the top show for SJWs worldwide, stayed silent and their boss, Lorne Michaels, even admitted to covering for him. Lots of people got mad, but Donald Trump Jr. got even. He figured, well if Saturday Night Live isn't gonna be funny anymore, I might as well be. He ran to his computer and launched one of the funniest tweets I have ever seen. Ha ha ha. He hit the nail on the head there. The sad part is, what Weinstein did was no joke. He used his position and connections to force girls into sexual relationships they didn't want. As a nation, we should be appalled by this. Enough of the heavy stuff for now though. Don Jr. just left a message to brighten up your days and I'm doing my part to get it out. If you agree that it's high time for Hollywood to stand up to their own monsters, send this around and let them know it. Game over Dallas Cowboys owner just made new rule that will end anthem kneeling for good. The NFL's Dallas Cowboys are known as America's team due to their large fan base, among other reasons. Owner Jerry Jones, a former college ball player himself and longtime billionaire friend of President Trump, is just as sick and tired as the rest of us with watching high-priced athletes kneel for the national anthem. Now, Jones is speaking out louder than ever before. Every NFL owner needs to take note and follow his lead. Jerry says, if you disrespect the flag, you're benched. If there's anything that is disrespectful to the flag, then we will not play. Understand? We will not, if we are disrespecting the flag, then we will not play. Period. Jones added, we as a team are very much on the page together. We made our expression. I'm very supportive of the team. But under no circumstances will the Dallas Cowboys, I don't care what happens, under no circumstances will we as an organization, coaches, players, not support and stand and recognize and honor the flag. Period. He concluded, 
if it comes between the impression or the perception that we're not standing together, supporting each other, or the perception that we're disrespecting the flag, the perception that we're not together will be secondary to not respecting the flag. Respecting the flag is first. How about them cowboys? Per ESPN, regarding the rule that NFL players stand for the anthem. According to the manual, during the national anthem, players on the field and bench areas should stand at attention, face the flag, hold helmets in their left hand, and refrain from talking. And there you have it. If you're sick and tired of millionaire NFL babies disrespecting our flag comment yes. Did you stand with America's team owner Jerry Jones? Is this a fair punishment for kneelers? Let us know. HT ESPN Winning Big Trump just set a new record for Republicans and nobody is talking about it. So it turns out that the media was straight up wrong when they try and claim Trump doesn't have much support. Now, we have proof. According to the NY Post, the GOP has managed to raise $40.3 million worth of contributions of $200 or less since January 1st. Republicans have not managed to fundraise this much since 2003 following the horrible September 11th attacks. The Democrats, on the other hand, have only managed to put together a measly $25 million in donations since everybody hates them. This major feat was also 100% thanks to the hard work of President Donald Trump. In fact, it's almost entirely the Trump supporters doing the donating thanks to most Republicans being furious at our do-nothings in the Senate. The president himself is clearly also quite proud of this accomplishment. Just last night he tweeted out. Clearly, the Trump phenomenon is alive and well if he is able to pull in such an herd of donations based on nothing more than an excited base. If you are proud of what this president has accomplished, let him know it and get this out to every Republican you know.